Hey guys, bro boy gaming here and welcome back to today's video where today we are finally back on the fishing planet grind. It's been a while since I've uh since I've played Fishing Planet. Um But yeah, this is actually where we go from level 28 all the way to level 29 and a half. This is probably and sadly going to be our last video here at the Everglades. It was a great place. I truly loved it. And you guys should come here. It's a great place. If you guys have been following the series, it's a great place to come to. And keep coming here. You'll make so, so good XP and so good money. And as you guys can see, I just did the things um, that I said in the last video about the Halloween update. Those are the things that you can interact with and it gives you stuff. I don't get them automatically because, you know, I, uh, some reason it takes a while for the game to actually, like, load up and load all of the resources in for me. Um, but you'll see. When I, um, I believe when I ca catch, like, my first fish or something, it'll come in. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, here we are. And, um, I actually, in this video, I forgot, uh, to bring uh, some bait. And so I was here checking in the shop if I could buy any more. And this is where it comes in. So we get, of course, our daily bonus. And then the bony shad, which I do use. And then the hawk claw. Those were the two things that we got from the, um, from the Halloween update. I was thinking about getting shiners, but they were way too expensive. So I'm just like, I'm just going to have to spend these. Because what I did is I um, I spent all of the bait that I had. And then I bought more. And then traveled back. And got all the way to level 29 and a half. Um, so I could buy the next Phoenix route. Um, which means that I'm going to need to grind until level, probably level 31. So that I can buy the reels, lines, and all that stuff. And go to the next spot. Um... For the next spot that we're going to be going to, I'm not really for sure what I'm going to do. I don't know if we're going to go to Michigan or White Moose Lake in Alberta, but both places are great. Um, if we have enough money and we save up enough money, then we're definitely going to be going to Michigan. Michigan is literally the money-making lake for level 30s, because once you're level 30, you're technically in the big leagues, you know. You have to start making a lot more money, because here at the Everglades, per hour, I make about six thousand dollars but per hour at michigan i'll be making like ten thousand dollars and think about that if you play three hours like not every single day but whenever you play you play three hours you'll be making thirty thousand dollars which is great if i play three hours uh, here at the everglades i only make like 18 or twenty thousand dollars it's a ten thousand dollar increase which is great so that's gonna be great it's it's just gonna be great i don't know what to say i'm so excited for that uh white moose lake is gonna be cool if we do go there because there are some pretty cool fish there it's a pretty cool lake but it doesn't have as good money as sorry about that guys i got interrupted but uh, like i was saying um white moose lake we're gonna be making a little bit less money than we would uh if we're going to michigan but the thing is to travel to michigan it's like eighteen thousand dollars and um like talking about license and travel because travel to the everglades it's like eleven thousand five hundred dollars and then at white moose it's eleven thousand eight hundred dollars so they're very similar and i would love to go to white moose but i just don't really know here like at this point in time since i'm not level 31 yet i did grind all the way like i said to level 29 and a half but we're not level 30 or 31 yet so <laughs> yeah but but you guys will definitely know in the next video and if you guys want me to go to um i'm probably gonna go to michigan that's thankfully where, we, where we're gonna go probably go to michigan because we're gonna be making lots of money and then we can go to white moose after we upgrade setups because there are some big fish there and then after i upgrade my setups i can go grab those big fish um but yeah, if you guys also, um, if you guys want to go to White Moose, if you guys want me to make a guide on White Moose after I go to Michigan, like, so then I can make lots of money, and after that, go to White Moose to make a guide for you guys, definitely leave a like and comment that down below. I'll try to do that. That's going to be <laughs> pretty hard, though, but I'll do it because I, I do want to go to White Moose myself. But um, as you can see in the footage right now, I have to, I'm trying to handle two rods at the same time with two fish on, and I'm trying to save both rods this is a great strategy it's very tough though i would say that you just start reeling in on one rod for five seconds but remember that you have to set the hook so let's say ready that you have a fish on and then 
another rod gets a fish on. Drop, if you set the hook on that fish, which is uh, pulling left trigger, pulling the rod up, or striking, as it's called, um, if you do that, that sets the hook on the fish, so the fish is hooked, um, and then after like five seconds, grab the other rod, set the hook, in real five seconds, and it's better than just losing a fish, you know, because you get to bring in that two, both fish in the amount of time that you probably bring one. Actually, probably not the amount of time that you bring one, but it would kind of be, you would have to recast both rods, and that would take a while to actually get another fish on. So like this, you can actually keep both fish in the amount of time that you would have to catch one fish and reel in your rods and recast them. Um, it is very tough to do, and you can mess it up, but yeah um we're actually doing pretty well on this we are bringing in this fish these fish are not too big but they are fighters they have i believe maybe one or two of them maybe one or both of them have to be trophies there's no way that they are not um but yeah i really do want to talk about michigan you know and the next places that we're going to be going to um and I'll give you sort of a little guide to White Moose if you want to go White Moose. Or if you're already level 31 and you have tons of money if you want to go to Michigan. So what you do at White Moose is you want to go for three certain fish. Well, there's two that you really want to be going for. And those two are the um, Northern Pike and the Splake. Uh, if any higher level people have been to White Moose, they'll be like, Splake? The Splake are not good fish. But the thing is, Splake are. They are like, they're bigger than the Pike. Because the pike there average four to six pounds, which is bigger than the bass. But they're bigger than the pike. Like the splake get up to like 10 pounds. They're around like six to eight pounds. That's what they average. And they give pretty good money. Like the amount of money that you get here for uniques is technically the same amount of money that you would get there for the splake. Because if you go for lake trout, which are like 10 pounds, it's only $500 per like per 12 pound fish at the for the lake trout but if you go with the splake an eight pound or ten pound fish is like eight hundred dollars which is great and here we are we're bringing in this fish it took us a while but we were able to bring both fish in and then we go see a trophy 6.7 pounds that's what you'll love to see i hope you guys like my uh my new transitions i was trying to come up with some new transitions into the editing because i just didn't want it to be the same and um, I also want to uh, say I'm sorry that I didn't uh, record for a long time. Uh, it's been like three weeks since I've recorded. And that's because I've been um, playing a lot of different games. Because um, some of the other games that I play came out with some updates. And I was playing them with friends and stuff. But if you guys want some other gameplay as well. Like um, if you guys want me to play, I don't know, some Rocket League or some other games. Um, when I'm not playing Fishing Planet. Because I, I play Fishing Planet, but like not that much. Because, you know... I don't have that much free time, especially with school going on and the end of the quarter. I'm really busy. So if you guys want me to just, I don't know, record uh, some Rocket League or other videos like that, then I definitely can. Um, but also, if you guys um, want to see more um, more footage of me recording and more footage of Rocket League, not Rocket League, sorry. More footage of Fishing Planet and maybe even Rocket League and, and some other games. Um, check out the streams. Every single time that I play Fishing Planet, I stream it. Um, so go check out the streams. It technically gives you a sneak peek to the videos. And sometimes, even when I record, I don't upload that as a video. But here we... Ooh, we brought this fish in. He seems to be almost... He was... It took them, took us a while, but, you know, these fish are not that big. And that's why I really kind of want to leave the, uh, the Everglades. You know, these fish aren't that big. They don't give you that much money. Well, they do. But, you know, we're close to level 30. We need to start making a lot more money, which is why I can't stress it enough. Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. One of the best places to go to make tons of money. And technically, a guide from Michigan, if you guys already want to go to Michigan, and if you guys are already level 30, what you guys are going to want to do is probably, um, you guys are going to, um, go for the Northern Pike next to the King of Green Bay spot, and I'll go over it in the next video if we do go to Michigan, because like I said, this is going to be the last video at the Everglades, the Everglades has been such a good spot, I've loved it. Um, but, you know, times have changed and it's time to leave. 
leave the Everglades. It's time to go to newer, bigger, better places to make more money. And so then we can keep leveling up. Um, you know, I'm not really focused on what's after Michigan or what's after White Moose. Because I really just want to get out of the Everglades as much as possible. And also, come by the stream. There will probably be a stream soon. Maybe like next week of me grinding to level 31. You guys can come check out the stream. Come by, check out the stream, and watch us get to level 31. And then in the next video, I'll probably go over all the stuff that we're going to need to buy. And stuff like that. But I can't, I'm going to... I can't say I'm so happy because I'm not there yet, but I'm just so excited, you know. Um, I believe that this is our last fish of the video. This is a trophy fish on our Nero, our 10-footed Nero, our worst rod. Um, but yeah, and another reason why I, I think I'm going to go into Michigan is because I know the leader lengths to use at Michigan, but I don't know them at White Moose since I don't know the depth of the water, but I do at Michigan because I've, I've done my research at Michigan. I've done my research and at White Moose I have, so <laughs> I've done research at both places and yeah, but but yeah, this is our last fish of the video, like I said, and he is pulling. Look at him go. He was at 60 and he pulls us to 87. Whenever that happens, you know that it is either a trophy well, probably going to be a trophy, not a unique. But, nope, he's still pulling us. He pulled us to 90 then. He's pulling us, pulling us to 100. I don't know what happened to the quality. 120, 130, 134. This is a big fish. Uh, from watching the footage, I know it's not a unique. But, you can see that it's definitely a big fish. Um, also, I, I didn't get this in the, in the recording, but... I actually got my PB um, Butterfly Peacock Bass. I didn't even know that you could get unique in Trophy Butterfly Peacock. Well, I knew you could get Trophy, but I didn't even know that you could get a unique Butterfly Peacock Bass. I never gotten a unique Butterfly Peacock Bass. If you want to, if you do want to catch a Butterfly Peacock Bass, that's unique or Trophy. Just um, to the weeds right there, with like, looks like the rod, his thumb that's holding on the rod is pointing to those weeds. Cast almost to the right of those weeds. Um, and you will get a ton of butterfly peacock bass and increase your chance at getting trophies and uniques there. Um, because whatever I do is when the, um, when the bite rate goes down a ton, I cast more to the left. Because I normally cast to the right where the catfish and largemouth bass are um, in the middle tunnel. Um, but if you cast out more to the left, then uh, you'll definitely get a lot more butterfly peacock bass. And they are fighters. Like a five pound butterfly peacock bass will almost feel like a seven or eight pound largemouth bass. They are fighters, very aggressive. And in real life, butterfly peacock bass are one of the most aggressive lake fish to go for. They are really good fish to go for, but you know, this is fishing bun, this is in real life. And we are finally bringing him in after so long. We've got him down to 24, and now he's gonna be doing a little bit of running to 30, to 35, no, to 40, and then now he finally stops running. This has to be the most annoyingest thing ever. Whenever you get them to like 20, and they're like, they they go for a little bit of a jog, you know, <laughs> jog down the block, and we got him to about 30. Well, he brought us to about 39, but we're bringing him in to 23. And I just want to say thank you again, Everglades, for giving me such a great experience here. And we finally brought this fish in. It is a trophy largemouth bass, and you'll love to see it, boys. That This is the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the